Hi! Due to the way YouTube works, I want to make a quick announcement before this video. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button or leaving a small comment. It really helps. If you feel like helping even more, you can check my Patreon or Ko-fi accounts. All the links are in the description box. Thank you! Greetings! In today's video, I'll be taking a look at a selection of colors from the Shinhan PWC watercolor range. I've already tried Shinhan's hybrid watercolor and gouache paint, the Shinhan Pass, but not their professional watercolor. Shinhan offer three grades of watercolor, with PWC being the highest. These are their extra fine professional watercolor paints. The colors come in 15 milliliters tubes and the range has a total of 84 colors available. Shinhan is a Korean brand. The colors they offer are reminiscent of other brands like Magello and Holbein. The tubes packaging provide all the relevant information such as pigment composition, light fastness rating, and opacity, plus things like the name and number of the color in the range, its pricing series, the brand, etc. I got five colors that I chose based upon their pigment composition. I was looking for pigments that I don't have in other brands and I ended up with this selection of five colors that feel very autumnal when taken together as a limited palette. The colors are Brown Red, Van Dyke Brown, Aurelin, Sap Green, and Indigo. I put the paints in a small plastic palette and let them to dry. I painted the swatches on a base that I stamped on cotton watercolor paper. The stamps are from Waffle Flower. I'll have the links in the description below. I'm painting a smaller square swatch to put in my swatch book, and a larger rectangular one. I'm not sure yet what I'll do with the larger ones, but I wanted to test out the larger swatch stamp as well. In addition to the swatch cards, I prepared a sheet with large swatches and a color mixing chart of these five colors. I really wanted to check the mixes available, as I have a decent range of colors, but still limited. The super thin blue tape is an indispensable of painting a chart. If you want to see more of it in action, make sure to check out Dr. Otto Kano's channel. She paints a massive color chart and you can really see how much time the tapes saves on those bigger projects. I was very happy with the mixes made from the five colors. It looks like a perfect palette for fall scenery, in rich but muted hues. The colors mixed well together and didn't lose any of their richness.
To test out the paints, I sketched two of my favorite themes together, cats and forest. The paints were really easy to re-wet and worked perfectly well from the dried blobs in my palette. About the paints. Shin Han has a very eulogistic paragraph about the paints on their website, as most brands do. I don't see a point to reciting their claims here, aside maybe for the one regarding light fastness. I quote, to enhance the clarity and depth of color, single pigments have been used whenever possible, and the usage of mixed pigments has been limited. Using single pigments, watercolors are less prone to fading and the consistency of colors are improved." End quote. Now, as far as I know, this is a very puzzling statement. First, mixed pigments is not synonymous with loss of clarity and depth. As an example, the turquoise from mixing phthalo green and phthalo blue is incredibly clear and deep. Secondly, single pigments are not a warranty of light fastness. To demonstrate that, I just have to look at the colors I got from their own paint range. The indigo is PB66, synthetic indigo pigment, and it's not very light fast. The subgreen color is PG8. Nitroso green, and it's also not very light fast. The colors are indeed beautiful, but it feels disingenuous to correlate light fastness to the number of pigments in a paint, because these two factors are not related. The paints are nice and the colors are really pretty. I enjoyed painting with them. I think I'm still running into issues with this sketchbook or its paper. It seems to be doing a poor job regardless of the paints I put on it. As some of the colors I got are not the most lightfast, these are possibly better suited for art to be kept in a sketchbook or scanned for prints, as opposed to art that you would put directly on the wall. It's also worth noting that the PWC range offer more lightfast colors that you can choose from. Have you tried PWC paints before? How did you like them? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye. Before I leave, here's a reminder that I have accounts on Redbubble and Society6 for fun things like stickers and mugs. Bye bye. Thank you.